bad thing. Bad. Ouch. You gon' make me do like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Fanny by the pool is what she dressed in. Yeah. You gon' have to go up on the Snapchat. Hey, why frame? Think why? Yeah. Why frame whipping in a Tesla? Hey, paint job costs a little extra. Hey. Probably not many of you guys watching these videos, but to my one viewer, hello. So when it comes to building my productivity gaming setup, I am a hoe for anything that makes it better. I've been really wanting to change my setup for quite some time now and I finally got the chance. And you see, it's not because I have the money for this, but because some things went on sale and I decided to buy more than I should. So before changing everything in my setup, I had a few problems that I wanted to address. First of all, the monitors were just too close to my face and that was like the main problem. When I work really long hours or if I'm just gaming a lot, um, my eyes get sore really easily and it's just mostly because of the size of the screen. I also have a second monitor but I rarely use it and I've only really been using it if I'm doing like a huge research assignment or when I'm working from home. Otherwise, half the time I would, it just sits there turned off. I didn't really want to entirely remove this monitor because it's it's nice to have around in case I need it. So I thought maybe I could make it into a vertical monitor. But I had a problem along that line. If I wanted to push my monitors back and change the arrangements, I would have to move my PC. And my PC sat horizontally on my desk and didn't allow me any space to do anything. So in order to do that, I did some Amazon, I did some IKEA shopping. I spent around $150 Canadian in just stuff to upgrade my setup. It's not too much, but definitely dug a hole in my wallet. I wonder when it all comes to an end. I wish that you could stay, but you choose to run away. Yeah. I wonder if you ever leave my head, cause the time is running out, but we'll meet again someday. So yeah, that's how it looks all finished and honestly, I really, really love it. I ended up getting this rolling cart from Ikea and I just left the wheels out so it won't roll around. I had to rebuild it about like three times because I kept making mistakes. My computer sits really nicely on the stand and it gives additional storage on the bottom. I mostly just use it to store like my iPad, charging cables, and junk. I built my PC a little over a year ago. It has the Ryzen 5 5600X paired with the RTX 3070. The RAM is the 16 gigabyte by Kingston HyperX Fury along with the one terabyte Western Digital SSD. I have is the Asus Turf motherboard and everything is placed inside the Fractal Design Meshify C Mini. By the way, everything including my PC build and my desk setup will be included in the description of this video. Moving on to the monitors, I have is the MSI Optic G24C4. It's a 23.6 inch monitor. And I also have is this really old BenQ monitor that I stole from my dad. I have this all hooked up onto my Huino dual monitor arms. I got this for $30 by the way and I'm pretty proud of myself for that. It's one of those monitor arms that has those gas springs so I, I think it's pretty fancy. I think to help with lighting around my desk and to reduce eye strains, I got a cheaper version of the monitor light and after using it for a week, this honestly has been life changing. It hooks up just above my main monitor and it turns on and off through hand gestures, has 5 color modes and 5 brightness settings. It wasn't too hard to set up, you just clip it onto the monitor, you plug it in with the included cables, and it, it works immediately. Last but not least, I got this lamp from Ikea. This light aesthetically looks beautiful. Originally when putting this together, I couldn't decide on putting this on my left side of my table or the right side of my table.
Eventually, I went with the right side because I just felt that I could see the line from my point of view. The desk for this setup is the classic IKEA desk with the Atlas legs. At this point, everything I've said has been from IKEA, including this chair I'm sitting on right now, is one of the IKEA swivel chairs. Don't come after me for cable management. I basically tried my best, but eventually i just stuffed everything into the rack and gave up one last ikea item I have here is the ikea pegboard i use this mainly to hold my mechanical keyboard my switch and my ps5 controller the holder for the controller is actually 3d printed and it fits really nicely i have some pegs here and there and it just holds cable and grab and go items i have some container that mostly consists of pens and junk and also some fake plants because it looks nice and i just keep killing real ones otherwise i think it's a really nice addition to the whole setup it provides me a place to display some stuff and also nice area for grab and go items now for some accessories on my desk i usually try to keep it clean and as clear as possible because i don't like clutter my desk mat is an extra large mat from lenovo there's nothing really too fancy about it it works it provides comfort for my hands my keyboard is a logitech mx key i honestly love this keyboard it's such a nice typing experience and it's so smooth it's a low profile keyboard and it's sturdy my mouse is the Razer Basilic, the version 2. It's a wireless mouse and it fits nicely in my hand. You can change the color of the mouse and has two programmable buttons on the side. This mouse is almost 3 years old and it's beginning to show its age. You can see the rubbers on the side are starting to come off. Um, sometimes it kind of stutters and just lags while I'm using it. So definitely time to upgrade my mouse soon. I also have two speakers on my desk, they're the Logitech Z130. They work like speakers. I don't have much else to say. They can play my music and it works. I also have this a Google Mini that I got free from Spotify. There is a 3-in-1 cable that allows me to charge all my devices on my desk and a coaster for my tea because it's getting cold these days. But yeah, basically this is my computer setup for the next 10 months that I'm living here for university. It looks amazing, it looks clean. I'll definitely will keep changing and adding things and removing things while at it. For now, my setup does the job, it makes me happy, it feels productive-ish. Probably gaming more than being productive. I spent more time making this video and changing the setup than I'm working on my essay that is due this week. Anyways, this camera is dying, so I need to end the video right here. Thank you so much for watching.